welcome to another video. As you can tell from the title, this is a very exciting video. So yeah, I guess the time has finally come and I'm getting my boobs done today. It is surgery day today. Um, I'm so excited, also very nervous though. Like I've never had surgery or anything done before, so I'm a little bit nervous, but yeah, it's super exciting. I have to leave like probably in like a half an hour. I'm probably gonna be looking after Ashley for the next few days, the next week. I'm a little bit nervous, but like I'm excited for you. And I, so yeah, I'm gonna drop her off and pick her up. But yeah, they're not letting me have anyone with me during like in there at all. So yeah, like, that's a bit annoying. yeah, I think, I think it's, it's yeah, it's cause of like the pandemic and stuff, which is totally understandable. Obviously it's hard. Like you at least want someone there for moral support, but it's gonna be fine. Like it takes like an hour. So kind of just makes it a bit more nerve wracking. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's why I mainly why I'm nervous is because I have to sit there and be drugged up by myself. But yeah, I have also vlogged like a little intro of me just talking about like the back story and kind of everything like that. And I also vlogged my pre-operation appointment, which was on Thursday. So I'm going to insert all them clips first and then I guess we'll kind of just come back to where we're up to today. Hey guys, so it is the Thursday before my surgery and I currently have my pre- surgery appointment at the moment i'm about to go in and yeah i'm not too sure what exactly it consists of i'm assuming it's just like confirming everything like confirming my size and everything like that going through all of the procedures and everything for the day um on monday i'm about to go in there and have an appointment i'm gonna take you guys in with me i don't know how much i'll be able to film though but ooh, it's so scary like i can really start to feel my anxiety and nerves starting to kick in now um last night i literally picked so many of my eyelashes out like it was just bad and I regretted it so much after I did it. I'm getting, I booked in and I'm getting all my lash extensions removed tomorrow um, just so I don't keep like damaging them and ripping my eyelashes out and because I'm going to be laying in bed all week anyway so I'm like I'm just going to get them off and then when I feel better I'll book in and get a whole nice new set and stuff like that. Yeah, let's go into the appointment. So I just got out of my appointment. Ah! I got a little post-surgery bag as well. So I'll have to show you guys what's inside that. Um, but yeah, pretty much we just finalized everything. It was like super quick and yeah, just ready for Monday, I guess. Hey guys, it is that time. That time has finally come. And I guess in this little section of the video, I just really wanted to talk to you guys a bit of like the background as to why, you know, I've made this choice and just who I'm going with, the shape and the type and everything I've gone with, like just kind of like the whole background of it so you guys can just kind of know a bit more about the whole surgery. Um, so yeah, obviously this decision is not an easy one to make and it is also a decision that you need to make for yourself, no one else. Um, it's obviously a big change and yeah, it's not something I wanted to promote too much on, you know, my social medias and stuff because um, it's not something I want to promote to other people as if like, you know, you should be getting it done. It's just something that I have always, always wanted to do for myself since a very young age. It's just something I've always wanted to do for myself. It's something me and Olivia used to always talk about together and we dreamt of doing it together one day and both, you know, getting it done together. Um, but obviously a little thing, a few little things have changed since then. Yeah, it just kind of like didn't really end up that way. But anyways, things like that, I always believe like, you know, everyone's body's their own. They can do whatever they want. Like, I don't judge anyone's decisions. If there's things out there that you want to do that you think is going to make you feel a little bit more confident or a little bit more happier in yourself, then like, there's no reason you shouldn't do it for yourself. I've obviously like always kind of had it in the back of my head that I was going to eventually do it one day. And then I think it was like during lockdown or like March, April, May sort of time, I was really kind of just like vaguely researching a bit more into it and just looking into like surgeons and things like that like I really didn't have much intentions at all I also messaged tons of girls who have like had theirs done that I know of I think I had a consultation back in like July or something and then yeah I couldn't book until like October so that's why it's been like quite a long way decisions like this I definitely recommend like thinking about for a long long time because it's obviously a big change to your body and obviously a lot of risks come along with it which is why you know you need to do a lot of research into it and I guess it's the risk that I'm willing to take. Oh, I'm so nervous, it's crazy. So yeah, 
a little bit of details about it. So the surgeon I ended up going with is One Cosmetic. His name is Dr. Wessels, I think. Um, I have honestly heard nothing but good things about him. I messaged so many girls that have had their procedures done by him and they all said such amazing things. Yeah, I'm just so excited. Like he's made me feel so happy and you know, confident with the whole thing as well. So the size that we agreed on is I am getting a, I have to get like two different sizes because I have like asymmetric boobs. So the size I ended up going with is a 245cc and I also ended up going with teardrop, textured implant and I'm getting it done under the muscle. So that's going to give me the most natural appearance and most natural looking implant. Yeah, I went in there saying I just want like close enough to like a really nice full B cup and teardrop so they just look super natural yeah i'm very happy with the size i end up going with i can't wait to see what they're going to look like so nervous ah! yeah i don't really know what else to say i think i'm just going to finish off with that and i'll get straight into like all the fun part i did just want to say how thankful and how happy i am with just like how supportive like you guys have all been throughout the whole thing of me like talking about it on mainly instagram you guys have just been saying messaging me like so many nice things yeah you guys have all made me so happy with your responses and you guys have just all been so so nice and supportive and sending me such nice messages like it just makes me feel really really thankful that i am able to like share these things with you guys and not be afraid um of like what people say and things like that thank you so much for being so nice and yeah let's get into the rest of the video <laughs> good morning guys so today is surgery day it is monday morning olivia's actually at the gym but i am not going into hospital until 2 p.m but they've told me i need to fast from 7 a.m so i was like <laughs> Your girl needs to eat, so I'm gonna wake up early and have um, just some like breakfast. It's like 6.30 right now, and yeah, I'm just gonna make some breakfast, probably like a smoothie or something. Okay, so it is currently quarter to one, and I need to get there at 1.30, so I'm kind of like pretty much ready now. I also got this amazing recovery package from the brand relax and recover they sent it to me and it's just got a bunch of stuff in it to help me like for the recovery when i get back they gave me tons of ice packs as well which i have put in the freezer so i have just gotten dressed i took all my jewelry out i just put my hair in some plaits because that's what they usually recommend to do to get your hair out of your face so guys we are on our way olivia is going to drop me off she's just gonna dump me and leave I'm gonna go take Instagram photos. It's good, we only live like 10 minutes away, which is so good. So yeah, I'm gonna get dropped off. Also, just a little thing as well. I have no idea how much I will be able to film in there. Like, mm. I might not even be able to get to film anything. Like, I just don't know what it's gonna be like. And like, yeah, I don't really know how much I'm gonna be able to show. I'm obviously gonna try my best to show as much as I can. But if not, I guess you guys will just see me when I'm out or when Olivia picks me up. Bye! I need to go to the toilet so bad. Oh, Nevi poo. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. See you when I see you. Good luck. Oh my god, I feel sick. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so, guys, I just got out. Just finished. I have been laying here for like probably an hour or something um, and I think I'm just about to get fed. Excuse the mess in the background, our apartment is so messy right now, but Ashley snapchatted me about an hour ago um, and she was like awake and everything like that, although I don't think I can go pick her up yet because I don't know, I think they like need to keep her there for a while and feed her and stuff like that, but they're going to call me when she's ready to be picked up. I'm going to start cooking dinner now and I might make some extras for Ashley in case she wants it, but I think I might also run to the shops as well and get stuff like, she'll, I reckon she'll probably just want to eat Vegemite toast to be honest, um, so I'll get like some stuff for that and then I think I need to go to the chemist as well to get like her prescriptions and stuff so I'll probably do that after I pick her up maybe I'm excited 
I'm so excited. I think I was Snapchatting her and she was saying like she's not in pain obviously because she's on painkillers and stuff, but she just felt a bit nauseous. So they gave her some like crackers and stuff. Mmm, I'm scared. No, I'm excited. So guys, I've just picked up Ashley's tablets. They're in here. Um, so now I'm gonna go pick her up. I'm very excited. Hi. Just hold on and off a bit. Oh, that's hot. Oh. Mm, how are you feeling? Good. I was feeling a bit sick before, but. Like nauseous. Mm. Probably from all the medication. Yeah, and I think because I haven't eaten. Have you had a pick? Yeah, when I had my gown on before they put the bra on, I had a bit of a look. If they're cooked. <laughs> wow. It is almost nine o'clock and I've just taken two of my tablets. One of them is like a muscle relaxant and the other one is like a painkiller. So I'll probably go to bed pretty soon because I think it has like a bit of um, drowsy stuff in it. I'm going to try and go to sleep and I'll probably see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, so I haven't really spoken to you guys, but today has just been like really rough. I would say I feel worse today than what I did yesterday. Um, so I literally have just like kind of laid in bed. Haven't really eaten that much besides like really bland foods because I just have felt really nauseous all day. Um, but it is almost seven o'clock and Eth is about to come around. So he's gonna stay the night and he'll probably bring me some dinner as well. <laughs> hey guys, we're gonna sign off this video here. As you can tell, Ashley is just lying on the couch. You probably can't see her because the background's blurred. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be doing the same thing for the next few days, which is just this. When he came around last night, he bought me these really cute flowers as well. Which over there. But yeah, for the next video, we probably will film another video where I'm like feeling a lot better and can actually do things. So like- Not just lying on the couch. <laughs> I want to go shopping. We have a little haul to show you guys. Um, so yeah, we'll probably be a lot more proactive in the next video. Oh, and I guess in the next video, I'll actually reveal what they look like too. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little boob job vlog. I know a lot of you guys are requesting it anyways. I realized I actually haven't also done a rack chain update on YouTube in a very long time. So maybe I'll do that in our next few videos. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe because we upload every single week and follow us on all our other social medias. And we'll see you guys in our next video.